Well, howdy friends, I'm Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters and welcome to Mad River Outfitters Fly Tying Tutorials. Today I'm going to get you started with two of the very basics. In today's tutorial, I'm using a basic fly tying vise. Of course, my favorite uh, is the Regal, which we sell here at the shop. Uh, you need a hook, which a um, multitude of fly tying hooks, of course, available at madriveroutfitters.com. And <clears throat> I've got a bobbin and fly tying thread. Your fly tying thread will vary as per the size and color as per the flies that you're, you're tying. First of all, installing the hook in the jaws of the vise. You'll see here I'm using a Regal fly tying vise, uh, which is one of our favorite brands here at the shop. Very easy to use. You just squeeze the lever to open and close the jaws so I don't have to make any adjustments for different size hooks. But no matter what kind of vise you have, you open the jaws and insert the hook. Now it's very important to grab the bottom part of the bend uh, as you insert that into the jaws. You don't want to enclose the whole uh, hook point and, and the barb in there. You want to grab just the bottom part of the bend and then also very important that you get your hook in your jaws so that it's level so that it's even with the tying or with the surface that you're tying on. I see a lot of people that insert their, their hooks and it'll be canted upwards or canted downwards and of course your thread or your materials you're just going to slip off. So you want a level tying surface so make sure you get that level with the surface that you're tying on. Then the next thing, every fly you ever tie of course you're going to have to, to start your thread. So starting your thread will be the same on every fly you tie, whether it's freshwater, saltwater, trout, bass, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take, you've got your thread, your bobbin, of course, um, which we'll show you when we go through the fly tying tools. Um, but you're going to t hold the loose end of the thread or the tag end, you're going to hold in your left hand or your opposite hand. You're going to hold the bobbin above the hook shank, and you're going to come in at about a 45 or a 60 degree angle and you're simply going to apply tension and wrap around the hook shank and as you do that you're going to come back and grab that tag end or that free piece of thread and I'm going to start wrapping back towards the bend of the hook and as I do that I bring this piece parallel to the hook shank and I wrap right over it. That secures it to the hook shank. I trim with my scissors and I've started my thread. Let me do that one more time and again you come in at about a 45 60 degree angle wrap around always being sure to maintain tension and then after I wrap over that tag end or the loose end I can then start to bring it parallel to the hook shank wrapping back over it and I wind up with my thread hanging right at the bend almost every fly you ever tie you want your thread hanging at the bend which the bend is directly above the barb of the hook Okay. Usually I'll cover about half the hook shank that's sufficient unless you're trying to lay a thread ba base for a certain reason. Uh, usually just covering about half the hook shank. So there you've learned how to put the hook into the vise, into the jaws of the vise properly, how to start your thread properly, which is something you'll do on every fly. So stay tuned for more great lessons from us here at Mad River Outfitters.